Hey there and welcome. It's Thursday afternoon, November 6th, 2008. I'm Jilly Bedanes and this is the afternoon briefing and update on what we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. Illinois Congressman Rahm Emanuel has accepted the offer to be Obama's White House Chief of Staff. After telling a Chicago radio station yesterday he was weighing the decision with family and political considerations, today he informed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi he would be resigning his position in the House. Some new election results today. North Carolina has declared Barack Obama its winner, an historic result for a state that has not voted for a Democrat in over a generation. And in the Oregon Senate race, Democrat Jeff Merkley has defeated Republican incumbent Gordon Smith. This brings the number of Democrats in the Senate to 55. Three races in Alaska, Minnesota, and Georgia are still too close to call. The White House said today it is concerned al-Qaeda might use this time of transition to test the new administration. Although they have not received any specific threats, President Bush said today the national security threat is a key reason that the transition must run smoothly so the new team can hit the ground running. The inauguration committee announced today the theme will be a new birth of freedom to commemorate the 200th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's death. Senator Dianne Feinstein, who is heading up the committee, explained the words come from the Gettysburg Address. She said the theme is especially fitting as we inaugurate the first African-American president. Tomorrow, President-elect Barack Obama will hold his first question-and-answer news briefing since the election. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com, and I'll be back tomorrow for the morning briefing.